Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome. All right, quick break in the uh, tutorials. I want to look at um, since they're available now, free for the month of May. And today's drink of choice is coffee. Okay, so the coffee in choice this time is from Strava. I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly, but it is their medium blend, and. From K Cup, 20 milligrams of CBD per serving. Uh, really good coffee. Uh, more on that coming soon. Um, if you're interested in it, um, let me know. I have a promo code that uh, you can get 20% off. So uh, let's move on to the free for the month stuff. We've got the basic car pack, um, Digital Dive Studios, or Studio. The um, this is the one we're going to review today, and then the next video we'll just kind of go down the list here. The Materialized VFX, Modern City, Sci-Fi Robot, and Targeting System. Alright, so if you don't know where to find these, if you just go to Marketplace, then what you'll find is, just by scrolling down, Free for the Month, and it's showing all five here. For some reason, when I went to Free for the Month here, and it's only showing four. So if you're only seeing four here for free for the month, just go back to my regular marketplace and scroll down and you'll see all five of them. All right, so let's get into it. Um, the map that originally loads up when you first load up, it's gonna hang up, it's gonna, when you first open the project, it's gonna sit there at like 45% and sit there and sit there and sit there give it time it will load and it's all gonna be based on your computer if you've got a potato it may take a while so just give it time it will load and then once it does it comes up to the overview map not much to look at but just the cars themselves and the different LODs go ahead and load to the demo map and make sure that um, you're on the DC game mode third person character and everything looks like that um, I didn't have to change it on this one, but I did have to change it on the other one so that it could use the third-person character, and it still wasn't right. Um, when you hit play, of course, mouse cursor. The For some reason, they decided to move the camera boom down, which really just boggles my mind. It's very difficult to move the camera around and, and get a good view of everything. But... Um, and of course the text on the ground is difficult to read unless you're actually looking at it from here so um, press E when you get next to the car to enter it and be able to drive it and um, press C to change the camera and L for turning on the lights and reset your position with B I didn't try that because I actually rolled one of the cars over so Go over here, and when you get close to the car, press E to get inside. Again, I don't like the position of the camera boom, it kind of screws things up. Press E, the door clips through the player. There's no enter animation, you just get into the car, and you can use the WASD controls. The sounds are a little bit odd, but they're there. So you got brake lights, reverse lights, and press L. You got headlights, turn them off. And then to experiment, there's um, some cones, and you can actually run over the cones and knock them over if you want. There's a uh, bump strips. So you make all the cars are all-wheel drive. A little bit weird there, but. Trying to do some off -roading. So yeah, you got a track you can drive around on. Plus a lot of different terrain you can actually go off-road and drive. If you want. I'm not a fan of that loud collision noise every time you do something. Really noisy. Alright, let's go over here and attempt to flip the car over. 
Predator 4 was actually hit the ramp at an angle. Fail. So, they, they work. They're usable, they're drivable. Um, the actual road system is actually a spline actor, which is kind of cool that it's included in here. Alright, car is upside down. The brake pedal. See you steering. We hit the B key. Nothing happens. We can change our view. All right, so let's get out of the car while it's upside down. And I got out on the passenger side for some reason. Really hate that camera view. I'm um, really wishing they hadn't moved the um, the camera boom. So to me, that kind of takes away from things. It, it makes me not like the whole frickin' um, thing just because of that, but whatever. So we'll grab a different car. So all three are drivable. It looks like, from what I can tell, there's only one color per car. So, pretty cool overall. Um, you do have the cars, all three of them are drivable. Uh, as you can see, the um, the road kind of follows a spline path there. So, let's take a look at some of the blueprints really quickly, and then um, the final and the blueprints. If we look at the third person character. Um, you've got can enter car car reference. So there's a couple things you're going to have to do if you want to add this to your current existing player character. So you're going to have to add this section right here. Everything else, these are all defaults. And of course, you know, they change the camera boom location, but you don't have to worry about that. And there's a text render. And what they've done is put in a couple things here. Any key. What? Um, yeah, so, is gamepad key, if so, then it prints out this, if not, then it prints out that, um, not necessary, rotate text, kind of cool, if you're not going to add the text in with your character, and I, I don't see where it's a, a big deal, it's rotate uh, text, there was one other one that was already open, and I kind of closed it up, then the actual vehicle blueprints. You've got the master. And as you can see, there is a bunch in here. Brake caliper rotation, steering wheel rotation, hand IK position, but I didn't really see my character because you need to be on the inside camera view. Inputs. All right, so yeah, a lot to look at. Some really nice materials. Cars look pretty good. I guess if you're wanting to, to quickly add cars to your game, this would be a good way of doing it. Um, can I see myself actually using this in, a, in another project? No, because whenever you look at it in the marketplace, whenever you actually download it and, and get it from the marketplace, it's a create project and not add to project so unless you're going to build your project around this then okay if you want to build a racing game where you can get in and out of the car great um, it has some potential don't get me wrong but I can't see myself using it uh, I will say though it does look good the, the cars look good uh, the track, well, I mean, you could change the materials out for the the landscape if you want to, and that kind of stuff. But for what it is, it's not bad. The um, reset your position with the B button. Okay, but what is the actual? That's for gamepad. What is it for the actual player itself? I did not see that, but whatever it looks nice 
it would be a fun project to play around with to create um, a simple racing game with but you'd actually have to go in there and do a lot of other stuff I guess and it's not multiplayer uh, I did not look to see if they stated that it was multiplayer if you go into this you see it says create project which you guys know I am not a fan of create project you can get the advanced version somewhere else you know it's a paid asset um, let's see features just looking to see if it said yes or no right off the bat for uh, multiplayer but I'm pretty sure it's not they have a link here for other compatible cars and migration tutorial if you're interested in it it's free so it's worthwhile checking out again what do you got to lose for the price alright guys and gals thanks for watching and in our next video we'll cover one of the other ones that are free for the month so stay tuned and we'll see you on the next video